In this lesson on functions and their inverses, we are going to have a look specifically at functions. Before we can learn more about functions, we need to know what a relation is. Relation is a set of ordered pairs or set of coordinates, and this means that all graphs are relations. A function, however, is a relation for which every x value in the domain is associated with only one y value in the range. So if you think about a Venn diagram, every input or x value will have only one specific output or y value. For each x, there's only one y. Then there's a test for a function, and it's called the vertical line test. If a vertical line is moved over the graph and only cuts the graph at one place at a specific time, then this graph is a function. So if we have a look at our first graph and we draw a vertical line, it is clear that it only touches the graph at one place at a time. Our second graph, however, can sometimes touch the graph more than once, and in this case, twice. So the first one is a function, but the second one is not a function. So what this test actually does is it takes one x at a time and sees how many y values goes with it for the specific graph. And in our first case, that is only one, and that is why it's a function. In my second graph, if I have a look at an x value, I now find two possible y values to go with it, and that is why it is not a function. When we then know that it is a function, there are different types of functions. The first one is a one-to-one -one function, and now it's swapped around. For each y value or output value, there is one x value. And then we have a many to one function, where for each y value, there's more than one x value. And once again, there's a test for the type of function, and that is the horizontal line test. If a horizontal line is moved over the graph and the graph is cut at only one place at a specific time, then that function is a one to one function. If that horizontal line cuts the graph at more than one place at a specific time, then the function is a many-to-one function. So if we look at our first graph, which is a function, and we draw a horizontal line, it sometimes cuts the graph once, but sometimes twice or even three times. So this will be a many-to-one function. Our second graph which is also a function, will always only cut through that graph once with a horizontal line. So this is a one-to-one -one function. 